Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chris Richards. I am the medical director of the Mobile Stroke Unit uh, out of UC Health. We're socially distanced here, so I'm gonna take my mask off just so you can hear me a little bit better. But I'll start by just giving you a quick introduction of what we do. So as you can see, the Mobile Stroke Unit is an ambulance. Um, it has everything that an advanced life support and ALS ambulance uh, staffed with paramedics would have on it. In addition to that, we have equipment, personnel, and medications that we use to treat patients with acute stroke. Essentially, it's like taking the emergency department of your local stroke center right to the curbside of the patient. So we can move ahead with our diagnosis, evaluation, and treatment as quickly as possible. Our program went live on August 11th of, of 2020. Um, since that time, we've been dispatched 350 times, and by the time we talk about this, it'll be even more. Um, we transport about a third of the patients that we're dispatched for. Um, we've treated so far 10 patients with IV TPA. Um, but beyond those treatments with thrombolysis, we've had significant impact on other patients that we've treated. We've diagnosed hemorrhagic stroke, we've diagnosed new uh, brain mass, we've diagnosed focal seizures. We've actually identified sepsis early, so even beyond the acute neurological process. So having the uh, diagnostic capabilities that we have here for a, certainly stroke, but for acute time sensitive conditions, particularly neurological, of course, um, there's a lot of value to that mobile stroke unit. All right, well, as you can see, um, it looks a lot like, at least for the first part, like a typical ALS ambulance. But let's look at some of the equipment and medications and other capabilities we have here in the mobile stroke unit that really make it unique to being a stroke unit. So the first and foremost, the thing that is staring you in the face right here is the CT scanner. So this is obviously a unique piece of equipment, um, but we have the capability to do a full CAT scan of the head. Our CT scan does the entire brain and then to the top of the neck. We can actually do angiography as well. And so our stroke team members can actually be looking at the CAT scan as it comes off the machine on their phone in real time, just like they do when they consult at all of the primary stroke centers um, in the tri-state area. Now, the next piece of equipment, which is unique to us as a mobile stroke unit, is this iPad right here. So on every call, the stroke team physician joins us virtually. So when the patient's in the back, our, our team will evaluate the patient send a page out to the stroke team uh, physician who is on call for that day and covering stroke team consultation for the entire tri-state area. Um, they'll get a page, call us right back in the back, and then when the decision's ready for uh, the decision for thrombolysis, they will beam up here, have a conversation with the patient in real time, face-to-face, -face, just like they would do telestroke at a primary stroke center, and then initiate treatment. Now the other fantastic resource that we have on the mobile stroke unit is our staff. So um, we have a full crew. Um, we have an EMT driver who's expert at negotiating this large ambulance around the um, streets and uh, curves of Hamilton County. We have a paramedic in the back. Um, we also have a CT technologist. So obviously we need the expertise to run the CT scanner and acquire those images that we can get. And we have a nurse here in the back. All of our nurses and paramedics have had additional training in acute stroke care uh, um, above and beyond their, their typical training. And so they are experts now in assessing stroke patients and working with our stroke team to deliver the care here in the back of the mobile stroke unit. Um, down here in our special cooler is where we keep our TPA. So we keep it in a little container like this. We can mix it up right here at the back of the ambulance and deliver it to the patient right on scene or in route to the hospital. Another thing that we keep down here is our uh, plasma, which is human blood products. So these specialized medications that we carry, the TPA, the plasma, the four-factor um, concentrate, really gives us the ability to treat any kind of acute stroke patient right there at the curbside. Now, sometimes patients who receive those types of medications also need to have their blood pressure controlled. So we have um, special infusions of medications that we can do to control blood pressure. And then if there is a lot of swelling around the brain from 
the stroke that's happening, we can also deliver medications to temporize some of that swelling that's occurring um, until they're at the hospital. All right, so the last part of our tour um, is actually the cabin, the cab up here in front. The, the actual unit itself needs to be nearly flat for the CAT scanner to actually work. Um, and so a lot of that technical expertise happens up here at front. Next to me is AJ, he is the EMT who's on today. We have air ride suspension, uh, liquid springs. This screen right here will tell us the uh, pitch and the roll of the actual truck. And we need to be relatively flat for the CT scanner to work. So we have a HWH leveling system with four legs on the truck. And I can actually um, adjust the pitch and the yaw of the truck. And um, I'll be doing that right now. We'll be able to feel it here in a second. So I really appreciate your coming along the tour of our UC Health Mobile Stroke Unit. Now you can see the uh, fantastic and excellent care that we can provide to our patients. We're seeing it nationally, internationally, but we're also seeing it locally, how patients really can benefit from that specialized treatment um, that we're able to provide. And we look forward to continuing to be a resource for our community. I look forward to taking your questions during our panel discussion at the end of the session.